You're listening to my WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article. Today's WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article is entitled, Trump Supporters and Conservatives are Rodney Dangerfield. Scores of conservatives and I have said for many years that Republicans, not conservatives, they're not the same, would rather lose elections and become the permanent minority party than to have thrown in with us trailer park constitutional rabble. And it's true, the spineless, stand-for-nothing Republican Party really does believe that we true conservatives are an inferior breed. Not that we're necessarily bad people, it's that we have conviction, we stand for something, have principles and values, and won't compromise them at the drop of a hat. In other words, we just don't get how things are done, etc. Then I ask myself, what does this remind me of? Well, a couple of movies came immediately to mind, both starring the late comedian Rodney, I get no respect, Dangerfield. In the couple of movies that came to mind, Caddyshack and Back to School, Dangerfield plays a similar character, a blue-collar guy who made it big, yet is still unaccepted by the country club and academic elite snobs. Does any of this strike a familiar note? It should, for the Republican Party is the country club and academic elite snobs. These snobs are represented by pompous judge Elihu Smales in Caddyshack and the stodgy professor Philip Barbe in the other Dangerfield movie, Back to School. Trump and his millions of supporters and conservatives are represented by Rodney Dangerfield. We, too, get no respect from the elitist Beltway Boy Republicans. In both Caddyshack and Back to School, Dangerfield plays a successful but streetwise businessman who had to pay his dues in the real world and became successful despite being uneducated. Even though it's not at all whom we are, it's how the Republican upper crust sees us and so consequently looks down on us. As Trump discovered and likely doesn't care, No matter how much money, power, or success one or many of us upstart outsiders amass, we'll still never be part of their exclusive club. It's clear they just don't want our kind in their club. And when the dust settles after this last election cycle, you can bet that these same elitists will blame the conservatives for the election loss. They're already blaming us for the violence in Washington, D.C., despite knowing nothing about who else was there and who started the rioting. But they'll blame us anyway because they are like Smales, Barbe, and the Democrats. Republicans have zero self-awareness that they did anything to lose the presidential and the Georgia Senate races, and worse, had zero interest in investigating the multitude of voter irregularities that many forensic experts uncovered. It's clear like the Dems, Republican motivation was to get rid of Trump first and foremost, and as I stated, will then be satisfied to be the minority party so long as it quiets us upstart trailer trash, at least for a while. Then they will be free to play faux conservative again, fight for us now that it's safe to do so. And by safe, I mean now that they have no power to actually do anything. But hopefully, like Dangerfield in both movies, we conservatives will prevail in the end. Thank you for listening.